I would win this one, we could already get the title one round before the last round, which would be pretty crazy. Definitely there is a, a lot of pressure. I try to don't think about it too much, to don't get too much pressure into my head, but it's still sure there. But I feel like if I have to win this one, there's even more pressure to win Getson also. So maybe we have to like chill a little bit and don't get too much pressure in it. Nothing but the best. These are for you. On you. Hola. How is it? Bye. 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 Clap. Clap, clap. No, to be honest, it's because we have three cameras, you have to do three claps. Ah, three. I heard too. Okay. Imposing walls of rock erupt from this surreal Spanish landscape. This is a place where history and hard enduro collide. Here, a one of a kind off road event invites riders to conquer the thrilling terrain. This is the home of the heart-pounding penultimate showdown of the series, where a world champion might be crowned. Welcome to round five of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship. Pretty cool race. It's uh, like a really crazy setting. The first day in the city for like a city prologue, Second day around a super big lake. Some pretty fast, really fast actually, trails. Billy absolutely hanging up in there. And then a really intense, extreme, kind of short multi-lap race for Sunday. We had this crazy lake that the levels dropped quite a bit. So there's just exposed rocks, the hard obstacles, big ledges and steep hills. And it's quite a tough one. The one part where you go by the lake, it's got some really slippery rocks that have high exposure, and there's some good videos on YouTube and Instagram of some guys crashing. Hopefully I won't be in one of those highlight reels and it'll be someone else. <laughs> the rain uh, this year is dry. We had no rain for almost a month. They say it's gonna rain on Sunday, but let's see. If it rains, it's gonna be very, very difficult. It's rocks. Uh, the options are either they're dry or they're wet. Yeah, we try to open and clean as many lines as possible because we have to do about 10 laps. So there will be a lot of riders in our way, probably. HomeDB is super special. I had up and down this, this season, but I feel again 100%, so I will try to enjoy, smile, do the big show this, this weekend. And it's not about numbers or results, but hopefully I can perform well. I just, you can't do it slow. Yeah. Your front has to be up here, and your rear. I would say this is the first of the really tricky sections with multiple line choices. Heading up to the top, you've got a rider's right hand exit and a rider's left exit, but it's this middle part of where you end up on which side. How many lines are here? Quite a bit, actually, huh? There's like one, two, three. That's probably the easiest. There, turn, and then up. I think it'll get like a good line for like an hour, and then like the last half an hour, you need to start looking for new lines again. Good spectator area, what's the feeling like when you get this? Nice. 
you feel like a king, huh? You feel like a, definitely like a hero, mate. There are so many people just standing up at this crazy uphill, and it's actually quite spectacular because it's so steep and just rocks. If you compare it to other races, what do you enjoy about this race? I enjoy about this race that it's quite cool for fans to spectate. All the Spanish fans are really enthusiastic about the sport, which is quite cool to see, you know. Even yesterday when I showed up at the paddock, there were so many people, oh, yeah, Leti, Leti, can we make a picture? Una foto, por favor. And it's quite cool to see how much passion there is about hard enduro. Yeah, it's one of the most special races of the season. I don't think only for me. The crowd here is amazing, super warm with all the riders. It doesn't matter if you are Spanish, German or from other country. They will cheer us on like really loudly. It's the only time in the year they have the opportunity to have a world championship here in the countries. And yeah, it's really unique. The uniqueness of this event becomes immediately evident as passionate fans encourage the riders during the opening race. This super enduro consists of two rounds and a final, each heat four minutes plus one lap. Rolling through the obstacles, top talent dazzle the crowd. This race is meant to be the first of two qualifying days. But as rain sets in, the disappointing decision is made to cancel it after just one round of riding. Winnie called it off. What happened? And the FAM called it off. Okay. Just here. Are you going to race uh, for the show or not? Thank it's you. only for the show if you want. OK. But OK. Thank For fun. We race for fun. With the rain letting up, the riders and organizers decide the track is safe enough to have a race just for fun. In a thrilling six minutes plus one lap run, the riders seize the opportunity to give the crowd precisely what they came for, delivering a riveting performance. As the laps progress, a fierce battle unfolds between Manny Lettenbickler and Billy Bolt. In the heat of the moment, Lettenbickler loses footing and Bolt breaks away. Caught up in the thrilling action, the crowd roars. Third place, guys! He's on! As the excitement continues, Alfredo Gomez joins the party. Gomez leaps ahead of Lettenbickler and both relentlessly close in on Bolt. But Bolt surges ahead and takes the win. Lettenbickler is second and Gomez claims third. Look forward to the rest of the weekend and lots of mind. Uh, just big thank you to everyone that's coming out and uh, yeah, please be good for uh, some kind of show for you guys. Thank you. So you're on first position. You were in every race, you were in first position. Sounds pretty good, huh? <laughs> it sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know what, what's going on this year. Like I'm even by myself surprised that things are working great and the team is working good. The bike, we tested so much at the beginning of the year to get the bike good. But it's not as easy, like the guys are so strong and everyone is riding on such a good level, so it's not easy to, to battle for a win in our sport right now. There is like five to ten guys who could potentially win a race. Now you can see just how dusty it's going to be for the guys today. This dusty track hugs this Spanish lake. Manny Lettenbickler takes the lead with Billy Bolt and Wade Young close behind as they navigate the challenging 40-kilometer-long multi-lap cross-country race. 
Due to the previous day's rain-related cancellation, this race now serves as the sole qualifier. It holds the key to determining the starting order for the main event and offers the first opportunity to earn more valuable FIM points. As the front runners rise above the haze, Billy executes an elite level pass, stealing the lead from Manny. Masterful maneuvers like this are a surefire way to stay ahead of Tristan Hart in the FIM points race. At the moment, Bolt holds the second spot in the championship, but it's a razor thin lead with just a single point separating him from Hart. And he's determined to alter that in his favor. Look, you're literally riding so defensively. For Tristan Hart and Teo Kabachev, the dust is a major issue. It causes them to miss a loop early in the race. They don't know it yet, but this unfortunate incident will have consequences. Right now, the sole Canadian in the series rides solo ahead of the pack. But he's not in the lead, and he's about to find out why. Open your eyes at the second lap. I did? Yes. Where? You know, just coming here all by myself, it makes it super tough. Like, it's not in the U.S. where I, where I have all the people around me, where when I come here, Manny has all the people around him, and I'm just, I'm one boy out there. So it's, it's not ideal, but trying to make it work as best I can. strong push from Wade. He's hungry for it. Wade Young is hungry for his first main event podium this championship season. Despite a challenging start to the year, he has consistently held a top five position in most races. At the very least, he's aiming to outdo his sixth place finish at last year's Hispania Hard Enduro. So last year I had a big crash the Saturday around the lake and fractured three ribs. So Sunday was a, a big push with lots of painkillers. But we're back this year feeling good and strong and done a lot of prep, so hopefully we can do better this year. Securing his second place finish behind Billy Bolt in this prologue could be the momentum he needs to fulfill his desire in the upcoming main race. Manny Lettenbickler speeds in for third, and these three fearless riders take the first FIM points of the event. Boys, you're not scared, huh? Holy Billy Bolt's prologue victory has extended his lead to four points over Tristan Hart in the championship standings. Adding to the drama, Hart will incur a 45-minute time penalty for his earlier mistake, relegating him to start the main race from 20th position. Bolt will start first. The second last hill. Open splits into two options. Yeah. People will go right, but I think left is probably better. This race is known as the Lost Road, an epic two and a half hour hard enduro that leads into the last brutal hill climb. Riders make their final preparations as a sea of fans eagerly awaits. <laughs> Billy Bolt charges from the cave, followed by Wade Young and Manny Lettenbickler. Right from the start, the top three racers battle for position. Ah. 
grinding his way up a foggy slope, Lettenbigler comes out on top. This section has so many lines. There's a one down at the bottom, one through the middle. High line. <sighs> that edge is so sharp. And Lettenbigler continues to look sharp in the lead, pulling away from the pack. Behind, local fans cheer on one of their heroes, Mario Roman. The Sherco rider started in fifth, but now he's slugging it out for second with Billy. And right now, Roman is looking strong. I think I am 100% now and super confident being in the home GP. I don't have any pressure. The championship is not looking as good as last year because after zero points in Esber is not so nice. My goal is to focus on the Hispania and Getsen and then get ready for next year. I am hungry for, for make good next year again. Hungry for a podium at home, the Spanish rider continues to stay ahead of the competition. Second place here, we've got Mario, and then we've got Billy down there. Did a bit of traffic. Through the traffic, they bump rubber. Roman manages to pull a slight gap as he and third place Bolt tackle a steep incline. The Brit is looking healthier than he has all season. So Billy coming into Hispania, he has had a few little issues this year with little injuries and stuff that have kind of held him back from being full potential. I would like to say it's nice to be uninjured all year, but that didn't happen. But at the same time, it's nice to make it to every round, which I didn't do last year. So that's one step better. It's obviously not what it was back in 2021. The championship's not completely out of reach. Obviously not going to give up on it, but at the same time, I'm kind of looking to the future and wanting to be back 100% and, you know, not being restricted by injuries. Oh! Oh, Mario's just wedged behind the tree there. He's got through, he's going to come up on this side. <laughs> Billy losing a bit of time here now for this one. While Billy Bolt loses some valuable time, his main series rival Tristan Hart is on a mission to gain it. Starting from 20th, the Canadian is now rapidly closing in on fourth place Wade Young. Hart is on a mission to narrow the four point gap between him and Bolt in the championship. Tristan. I don't feel like he's reached his full potential yet. And I've seen some absolute moments of magic that you can see that's like worthy of a top step in this championship. However, you see him also slipping off little things and making silly mistakes that he should be riding up easy. And then I think he just gives himself a real hard time. A little disappointed, that's for sure. I'm not like overly joyed. Don't go home and be like, yeah, I just got third. <laughs> Super happy. That's just not how I work. I would like to win. I think if I could limit the mistakes, I could definitely close the gap and be uh, fighting for wins. At this moment, Hart finds himself fighting for fifth place. Not bad after starting second row. Up ahead, the coveted win appears to be within reach for just one rider, Manny Ledbigler. He's unstoppable, relentlessly climbing the jagged rocky course Lettenbickler's lapping other riders, and he's now over six minutes ahead of second place. Guys, this is where Manny is making up all the time on the other riders. He's so smooth, he's not moving any stones in this loose stuff. What is the most important part? Is it physical strength? Is it talent or is it mental? I think the mix out of everything, huh? to really enjoy what you're doing, but then also go out there, work your ass off, <laughs> then feel physically but also mentally strong, like that you don't really think, oh man, 
what's going to happen this weekend. I feel like everybody has to find his perfect rhythm of training, riding, also having some off days. I think I, I found a good mix and I feel like I found my rhythm to, to success. Here's the final hill. That's where we're going to possibly crown a world champ. He's got a few more hills to go. After two and a half hours of riding, unrivaled, Lettenbickler enters the final loop. Time is running, stop me. I run faster. And you know I'm gonna take all the glory. Well done, buddy. Just keep doing what you're doing, mate. Try and stop me. He's full throttle up the Hispania hill climb. Think you got all the power. I am stronger. Yeah, baby. <laughs> After three hours of flawless riding, Manny Lettenbickler has done it again. Another Hispania title. A historic series record of five consecutive wins. And most importantly, he has won the championship title right here at this Woo! unbelievable race. Such a I have to cry now. <laughs> it was such a hard year. There was definitely some pressure on it. Fifth in a row, getting the world title. Yeah, just speechless. So guys, Mario is just here. We've got Billy over there. And then Wade Young on a last lap ditch for it. Wade Young is so close to Billy. The battle for the last two Hispania podium spots is ferocious. These riders are a minute or less apart from each other in a section that is brutally narrow and steep. There's zero room for error. From behind, Wade Young makes a charge, but he can't pass Bolt. As they both fight to complete the climb, Ramon breaks away, and he will take a well-deserved second place. Big fight now for third. Employing every tactic at his disposal to conquer the hill, Bolt clings to third place with desperation. But Young is right on his tail, and so is his main championship rival. No way! Tristan making a day's effort! In the final frantic moments, Billy Bolt gathers his composure for the decisive climb. It's been a relentless battle down to the wire. But he has secured his well-deserved third place on the podium. Wade Young has earned himself a hard-fought fourth. And Tristan Hart will complete the top five. It was a very nice race. It wasn't easy at all. I had a good fight with Billy, and to have a second place uh, in the home GP is like a win. That yeah, was a tough one. The track actually rode a lot easier than I was expecting, so the pace was really high, and I just didn't, didn't have the pace. Pretty happy to stay in third. Not really happy with third, but all things considered, third's not too bad. Here are the results from the 24 MX Hispania Hard Enduro. Manny Lettenbickler is first, Mario Roman is second, and Billy Bolt is third. The series belongs to the mighty Manny Lettenbickler. 
But the intense battle for second position between Billy Bolt and Tristan Hart continues. Trailing Bolt by eight points, Hart is in for an uphill battle. It's been a whirlwind season, dominated by a single rider. Now the burning question is, can the FIM Hart Enduro World Champion maintain his perfect season? Will he conquer the podium on home turf at Germany's Getz and Rodeo? And who will come out on top in the battle for second place? You don't want to miss the thrilling conclusion. It's the suspenseful final round of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship.